I got involved with MSF because as a, as a second year medical student, I got involved with the Flytrap exhibition, which was an access campaign about um, medicines and, neg and neglected diseases. And since then, MSF became um, a, a career plan for me, a goal of something I wanted to do. The first time I managed to actually work with MSF was in Basra, Iraq, in September 2009, for six months. And this was a mission in an emergency room in the District General Hospital where I and one of the nurses who was an Italian expatriate with MSF brought uh, training for advanced life support, resuscitation, advanced trauma life support uh, and triage into the emergency department. For both of us as first missioners we felt we were very productive. So there was very little patient contact but lots and lots of training and high impact long-term capability building mission. Um, the second mission was Haiti. Uh, six months in Haiti. I arrived there in June 2010, which was a few months after the earthquake. And again, this was a mission in the emergency room, but also I was in charge of intensive care and internal medicine. So I had much more patient contact. I supervised local staff. Um, and we dealt with illnesses ranging from a whole range of tropical diseases, uh, malaria, leishmaniasis, uh, leptospirosis, dengue, as well as HIV, AIDS and TB, as well as chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart failure, strokes, and of course in the emergency room, lots of trauma, accidental and violent, gunshots, stabbings, car crashes, burns, machete attacks, gang warfare. My mission in Haiti gave me my most unforgettable experience or collection of experiences in that towards the end cholera arrived in Port-au-Prince and we had to deal very quickly with a large number of cases uh, in a short time period initially by ourselves and then with the emergency pool and what it showed me is how quickly and efficiently and on a large scale, MSF could react to a new development. We were already there giving services across a wide range of specialities in our hospital, and then we doubled and almost tripled our bed capacity from 100 to 300 in a week to take care of cholera. And so that gives me an experience of MSF that's unforgettable. It proves that we can do things when it's necessary, and that made me smile. But also on a personal level it was unforgettable because you're not quite prepared for seeing that many sick people that quickly. Patients who could so easily just die or live depending if you get enough fluids in them so quickly. I think in terms of living conditions, as an expat you're warned that you're going into two insecure contexts. Basra because of car bombs. Haiti because of targeted violence, so you would be targeted as a foreigner for kidnap or gun crime or car crime, whereas in Iraq, potentially yes, you're uh, targeted as a, specifically targeted as a personal, as, a, as a, a foreigner, but also there are car bombs and that could be anybody, anytime. So th the reaction for both situations is to have curfew, to live at home in a very restricted environment, to only move to work and back. In Haiti it was different, especially the emergency pool, you're there to work 18 hours a day, every day, two months in, out, go. There's no time to sit back and play a board game or play cards or go on the, and watch television. Don't be in a rush to go to MSF. I think that was something I wanted to do as soon as I could and if I had gone two years after university, I would have found it very difficult and I'm glad I went longer. The main thing is I'm very glad that I went slightly later in my career so that I was much more confident in my medical skills and had more qualifications. I did my postgraduate exams before leaving. And I think those two things are really important because of the nature of the work of MSF. You're going to go to somewhere that has potentially, and certainly did in my situations, far less support, investigations, um, backup, resources and knowledge in, and you're being asked to do things outside of your usual comfort zone, expertise, 
and um, in normal environment. So you have to be mentally prepared for going to those difficult environments such as Haiti or Iraq under difficult circumstances, but to deliver work that is really interesting.